So it's a phone. It's from LG, and I've always been very happy here to tell you that LG makes fantastic products, but they don't know how to market it, how to get people to even know, have the knowledge that they do make great phones. So this is the W30 once again for 9,999 rupees. You get a product that really is great. I mean, look at the kind of things they have. For under 10,000 rupees, they're giving you a triple camera, 4,000 mAh battery, great screen, great front camera, almost no notch. It's got a teardrop design, and it's got most of the aesthetics that you think are really important for a phone like that. So well done, LG. You're carrying on making great phones like you always did but now with the fact that you've gone online at least people know it exists and the good news is that we've heard that this phone got sold out almost as soon as it came online so congratulations LG you finally have a real winner LG is back in action in the mobile segment with the all new W series and perched right in the middle of the series at 9999 rupees is the W30 that we have got for review is this the comeback phone from LG and will this turn things around for the company? Let's find out. This definitely is going to be the comeback series for LG into the smartphone business. And as I mentioned during the presentation, uh, we actually asked our HQ to let us create a series specifically for India, keeping in mind the competition and the needs of the Indian consumer. And fortunately for us, they did give us a go-ahead and which is where we could work and create the W series and which is what we launched today, three devices which is the W10, W30 and the W30 Pro. And given the fact that India is a fiercely competitive but one of the largest markets, we actually wanted to make a significant uh, dent in the market and which is why we have gone ahead and launched such an aggressive portfolio with a never before pricing from LG. When held, the large W30 fits well in the hand. It doesn't have a plasticky feel to it at all, and we love the solid build. We got the platinum grey colour variant for review. The back has a ridged pattern which offers a good grip. The screen is a large 6.26 inches and it has a HD Plus display. The display does miss a certain degree of sharpness, but it does the job. The screen houses a water drop notch on the top. The shape of the notch can be changed in the setting and even done away with altogether. So watching videos on this phone is quite a breeze. Coming to the camera, the LG W30 boasts of a triple camera setup. There's a 12 megapixel low light camera, 13 megapixel wide angle lens and a 2 megapixel depth lens. The shots we took had quite some clarity and the colours are kept pretty muted. The wide angle captured a wide view and the low light images turned out adequately lit. The portrait mode really did well with the edges and depth well defined. The front camera and the little notch is 16 megapixels. The selfies were good in daylight, but the portrait mode came across slightly artificial. Under the hood, the LG W30 has the MediaTek Helio P22 processor powering it. The phone did only OK while multitasking and gaming. The resolution in games is set to the lowest setting by default. There was no visible lag, but not much to write home about when it comes to performance. But LG seems to be making up for this with the battery. The phone runs on and on with a 4000 mAh battery and we only lost juice after one and a half days of basic use. The LG W30 runs on its own UX on top of stock Android and we love the smooth feel to it. The Selguru verdict. W might as well stand for win as LG offers a strong proposition in the under 10k segment. With good optics and a battery that will really last, LG is back and this phone will definitely make competition like Xiaomi's Redmi and Realme sit up and take notice.